Oh yeah, here he comes. Oh, oh, awesome. Another dive. Fish. There, there you go, go. nice oh, yeah. bass, Steve. Oh yeah. Nice <laughs> bass. That's been to tell combat. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> chunk. <laughs> oh, that guy just ticked it and uh. Oh, come here. Get him in a the boat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it. Oh, he just swallowed that. Look at that. He just completely ate that craw. He wasn't getting. He wasn't getting off, was he? Yeah. No, that one was good. I saw the tick and had a second to, to set that hook, and boy, she got it. That's the way to get him. Boy, she's hooked good. That is a sharp hook. Let me see that. What was that big old bass? What Ooh, style of hook were you using there? That's the EWG. That's uh, stands for extra wide gap, and it's just perfect for those broader plastics like the. Uh, Crazy Lakes Chigger Craw and the Chigger Craw, but other crawfish baits too. Wow, what a gorgeous bass. Chunky fish. There you go. That EWG, extra uh, wide gap, is one of several that are designed for uh, kind of flipping soft baits. And the other is a, is a flipping style of hook in the Trocar line. It has a special collar on it. Real kind of a great big meat hook there with a collar to hold your soft baits. There's also a swim bait hook, a drop shot hook, an HD worm style, and a mag worm, which is really a super wide gap hook. These trocar hooks are special in that they're honed in a geometric triangular pattern that achieves a super sharp cutting edge. It's the sign of the same way that they produce some surgical instruments is just honing instead of chemical sharpening to get the absolute maximum cutting edge. You need you. That fish. Ah. Oh yeah, oh damn. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Steve grab that one before he gets in those rushes on me. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a chunky oh, one. Look at that. that. Yeah. Good he job. was not getting it. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. That is neat. Now, uh, you can see that? Oh, yeah. Another beautiful bass. She just swallowed that right, got it on the surface, the top roof of the mouth with that Morat HD. Getting her back in the lake. <sighs> but it's always important to match the hook size to the different soft bait that you're using. In this case, it's HD as a four aught. Might seem awful large for a four inch bait like this uh, Crazy Legs Chigger, but you really want the point as near the back uh, as you can get it in order to hook those those light biters and uh, and set the hook effectively. What what pound test do you usually use on your? I, 50 pound is, is the least you'd want to go with. Mm -hmm. And I frequently use 80 uh, Spiderware Stealth is normally okay. what I use. Yeah, that's good stuff. Because you're in, the, all the abrasion that you know, canary grass or phragmites or these rushes, uh, it just tears your line up. Got one. Fish. Oh. Yeah, nice fish. Steve. All right, Dan. Yeah. You all want right. me to get yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Let's get, see if we can get your hand off. Oh, oh. get back here, boy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go, Honda. <laughs> Take your fish, there, Steve. Hey, yeah, that's great, man. Good, good grab. That's the way to get her. We got a tangle here too. You got him? Oh yeah. Oh damn. Oh, there's a big old bass. Yes, it is. We got some kind <laughs> of a line. That there we go. Good. So what do you think of those trocar hooks, there, Dan? <laughs> that was in heavy covering. You yeah. still got that? Yeah. In? She got the hook in there and uh, big old bass, man. Yeah. So this beautiful. Is good, fun. good job. Yeah. Really interesting. I'll tell you what, folks. You know, it's a good combination. Shallow cover. Heavy tackle, braided line, and give these trocar hooks a shot. They are awesomely sharp. They'll hook these big old fish. And toe to toe on heavy and cover. Toe to toe on heavy cover, you and uh, here we go.